Hey everybody, Max Rich here. And that was the beginning to Big Log by Robert Plant. Um, you know, Robert Plant, famous, like, ultimate rock singer from Zeppelin, you know. Um, uh, he went out on his own, obviously, after they broke up and did the whole thing. Um, and this was one of his big songs. Uh, and it's got some really unique guitar playing. It's like very acoustic lead kind of guitar playing. I mean, that intro solo um, that I just played right there uh, happens a few times throughout the song. But uh, the characteristics of it are very, you know, like specific to acoustic guitar. It's not some like shredding Jimmy Page guitar solo, right? It's more acoustic based, um, which is nice because <laughs> we're doing this lesson on acoustic. Um, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to kind of break down the song, show you the, the riffs, um, how they fit over the chords that are being played underneath. Obviously, I'll show you those chords as well. Um, but uh, what I want you to take away, I want you to keep this in mind, is sort of uh, the way the song is structured is you have like a, a guitar rhythm part strumming the chords in the background. And then over that, you have this series of licks and arpeggios that sort of come in and out. Um, and that's, that's a really important dynamic in, pl in playing guitar, especially in sort of like when there's two guitars in a song is you don't want everyone playing the same riff, right? Because then you just have one thing that's doubled. Um, the nice thing about having multiple guitars in a song is that you can play off of each other, right? So a lot of guitar players tend to overplay when that's the case, right? Because there's another guitar player and I'm like, hey man, I'm good too, watch, check this out, you know? And then that guy's like, hey, me too, you know? And then it's like a, a battle type thing and that's not what you want, that doesn't serve the music, that doesn't serve the song, right? Ultimately what serves the song most is uh, maybe taking a bit more of a humble approach. And that's why this guitar solo is a really, really good thing to study because it shows you um, how you can create some really nice, intricate, uh, and very beautiful sounding melodies in a guitar solo um, with leaving a lot of space and letting the background guitar do its thing. You know, that, that's a very important thing. If you, if you listen to any good singer, they're not singing the entire time the song is going. There's space in between their phrases. And that emphasizes the phrase when they do sing, you know, and so guitar playing should be sort of the same thing. So um, this lesson is going to be not just a lesson on this is how you play the song, but also sort of a lesson in taste and how to uh, play what best serves the music. So a lot of stuff coming up right now, so don't go anywhere. 